Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent stamp help demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. I'm so happy to have you here today. Today's case of the catalogue day and I have an amazing card for you. It's a beautiful Christmas card. It comes from page 50 of the catalogue, of the holiday catalogue, sorry. And it's using the stamp set called Birds of a Feather. So let's bring that one in. It's this one here. I absolutely love this one. We have Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's and Halloween all in one set. And I think this is an amazing set. The card that we're making today is this one just here using the gorgeous little chickens, the Christmas chickens. This is the card. And how sweet is this? This is such a sweet little card. I'm so excited to be showing it to you. So let's get over to the craft table and we'll get started. Straight into this card, which I absolutely love. The supplies needed for this card. We have the Birds of a Feather stamp set. I love this one. Um, it's great for four different occasions. Today I'm doing the Christmas version from the catalogue, which aren't they sweet? Inks we're using Pool Party Poppy Parade and Stays On Ink. I'm using the Granny Apple Green Stamp and Write Marker. I have some watercolour pencils, so we have Granny Apple Green, Real Red, Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. Also using the blender pen to colour these in. These gorgeous designs on the hat are used with the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. I have the rectangle stitched framework guys and we're using the third largest rectangle there. And this twine here I've used, um, this is Pool Party and Silver is retired. I actually have some of this. Now what they've used in the catalogue comes from page 172 and it's the Granny Apple Green Twine, Baker's Twine from the Tags and More Accessory Kit. So if you have that, you could use that on this card. I have the card kit here all ready to go and you can find all the measurements and supplies over my blog. There is a link to that blog post in the description of this video if you uh, would like to purchase any Stampin' Up! supplies. There's also a link to my online store where you can purchase uh, your Stampin' Up! supplies to make this card or to make another card or project. And I would so appreciate your uh, business by shopping through me. It helps me to bring these beautiful projects to you each week. So we have the card base is Pool Party, which I've already scored in half. I'm gonna fold and burnish. It is half a piece of A4 that has been cut in half. We also have the matting, which is Pool Party again. We're going to chop that down with the rectangle stitched framework. We have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and that's just the regular Whisper White for the sentiment and then I have a bigger piece for all our stamping of our beautiful little birds there. So I'm going to bring in the big shop first and die cut um, this pool party piece. Here's our piece here. That one's ready to go. Let's bring in our sentiment piece and our whisper white for our birds. Now I'm gonna stamp the birds because we're using stays on ink first. So I have that stamp here. Bring the stays on ink in. Because I'd like to leave the stays on ink to dry just a little bit before we start coloring in with the watercolor pencils. So we need three of these little birds. Make sure you pop your little cover on. And pop that over just to dry quickly. Let's do our sentiment piece. Now to do the sentiment, we have the sentiment here, I'm going to mask off with some post-it notes. 
pop down the poppy parade, which is the joyful Christmas part. So one down. Another one down. So I can bring in the poppy parade ink. And I'm just going to ink up the joyful Christmas. Now I can get rid of those post-it notes and they've done their job. Using the stamp and write marker, I'm going to use the thick brush end. I'm just going to colour in the rest of that stamp. So the whole sentiment says, wishing you a joyful Christmas from our little flock. Which is super sweet. I'm going to huff on that just to reactivate the ink. And I'm going to step that down in the middle. Lovely. And that's how you get the two different colours in your sentiments. Okay, so moving on. While well, we're still waiting for that to dry, I'm going to bring the card base back in. In this stamp set, there is a set of stars. Let me bring that stamp set in again to show you. So this is the stamp set. We're using this set of stars and I'm just going to randomly stamp that front um, card front. So we have the Cool Party ink. And this fits over two lots over the card base. So that's perfect. So let's do that all the way down. Okay, so we're right that we can um, pop this down onto our rectangle and I'm just going to use some Tombow glue for that. We're gluing straight down. It does go off the edge so I'm not going to pop some glue right on the edge. And about there, making sure I've got enough on either side for it to be even. Beautiful. And then we're going to just tie a little bow on the front. So let's wrap that round once. And it's only going, going around once, so pretty easy. Little bow. This just gives it a little extra bit of detail there. And take those tails off. Looking pretty, pretty sweet so far. I'm going to pop that up on the card base and I'm just going to use some dimensional. So one in each corner and another one in the middle. So I'm definitely giving that stays on lots of time to dry before we start water colouring. him down in the middle. Such a beautiful card. 
So we have that done. Let's bring in the little chickens. And I have all my colors here. Now, only one of the chickens is gonna have the star. So let's color in this middle one. No, let's do this end one. It looks the best inked. So I'm popping some down in the middle. Then I'm gonna to move to the duck bill, which is orange. So let's do his beak. It's not a duck bill because it's a chicken. So popping down a little bit of orange in his middle. Now, balmy blue, that looks more um, like Pacific Point to me, but this one's balmy blue, and we're going to do it really lightly. So I want to add a little bit of colour in his shadow areas, just like that. In each one. And this just adds a little bit more colour when we add the blender pen in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to colour in really lightly. So where you're barely seeing, seeing it. A real soft touch. Okay. Now moving on to our last colours, we need the one with the star is going to be the real red. So let's colour his hat in in the real red. And then we have the Granny Apple Green for the other two hats. And I don't think I made these quite dark enough, so I'm adding a little bit more pencil down with this one here. Oop. Especially in those shadowy areas. Okay, so we're right to bring that blender pen in and start colouring in. I'm starting off with the hats first so let's do the green and this just blends the two colors together if you haven't used the blender pens before these are really good because as long as you've got the ink pads you can color in any any stamp so stamp something and then color them in with the blender pens you don't need to have the pencils or the markers straight up. Okay, so when you're changing colors, all you need is a scrap bit of paper and you're just gonna take that color off till there's nothing. Okay, so we're clean of color. Let's move on to the real red. And I like the vibrancy of this one over what I did here. Beautiful. Okay, so we're finished with that one. Let's move on to the blue. And lastly, we just have their little bills. So just moving that color around so it's nice and even. Very sweet. Now to create this little puff paint here, we've got the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. This is new in the holiday catalog. Love this product. This is such a great product. We just need to shake it really well.
I'm going to add a little bit down on the pom pom and then just along the brim of the hat. So you can see the liquid sitting there. We're going to bring in the heat tool, heat it up, and that's when the magic happens. It's a really sweet little effect for the birds. So I'm gonna fussy cut these out and I'll be back in just one second. So all the little chickens have been cut out. I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back. So the one with the star, I'm actually going to pop up twice. Now, I want the one in the middle to be at a different height to the others. So I've just taken that backings off, popped another one down on top. Okay, so we can line up our little birdies. which gives plenty of room. So I'm gonna pop them down. These little chickens are so cute. I love this stamp set. It's every single image is just absolutely so sweet. Okay, so our double popped up middle one goes down. And that's the card. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. All the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog. There is a link to that blog post in the description of this video. I'll be back again very soon with some more wonderful cards and projects for you. Until then, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all then very soon. Bye-bye.